Hi, this is Marcos Patino Figueroa from the Cisco Security Tech Team. In this video, I will show you how to upgrade the Cisco Secure Firewall Threat Defense through the Firewall Device Manager. The device used for the upgrade process of this video is a locally managed Cisco Secure Firewall Threat Defense for VMware in version 7.2.4. To start the upgrade process, we have to follow the next steps. Log into the Hard Power Device Management Portal. Navigate to device, then locate the update section and click on view configuration. In the updates screen, identify the system upgrade section and click on browse. Then select the image file that you are looking to upgrade to. If the system already has an image uploaded, it is necessary to delete the stored image first, so you can proceed with uploading the new target image file. The upload process will start. The upload time depends on factors such as data rate and size of the image file. After the upload completes, a confirmation message will be shown. It is necessary to determine if the installation will be done immediately or not. In this video, we are not going to go automatically with the installation. So, leave the run up with the immediately on the upload box in check and proceed with clicking OK. The readiness check will start. If the system has the requested parameters, the readiness check will be shown as success. The upgrade and installing process will be good to start. Proceed with clicking in Upgrade now. The Confirm System Upgrade section is showing. This section shows requirements before proceeding with the upgrade. In addition to this, the system gives the option to roll back automatically to progress the state upon a major or maintenance upgrade failure. In this video, we will enable this option. This option it is just available in recent releases. Click Continue to proceed with the upgrade. The upgrade process takes around 40 minutes. However, it depends on each environment. Log back when the upgrade concludes and verify the new software version. Complete past upgrade tasks. For the purposes of this video, the only necessary task it is to deploy. As a best practice, the suggestion is to update the intrusion rules BDB and GODB after the FTB upgrade. The upgrade process has been completed now. I hope this video is informative and thank you for viewing it.